welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Welcome to stabbing people with knives with the neighbors. <laughs> this is Hell's Kitchen! I'm gonna show. I think so, and I don't think we can use that. What? That's what I'm allowed to say. This is H-E double L double H-E double hockey stick kitchen. <laughs> I'm making a gourmet salad. Hey, get out of the shot! For kitchen. For dinner. <laughs> Not for kitchen. Ah! For dinner. and welcome to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. Today I am going to make chicken with Italian dressing. And what I'm going to do is use boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins, cut mushrooms, onions of course, carrots, red skin potatoes, parsley, salt, and garlic pepper powder, garlic powder, and Italian dressing. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your Italian dressing and you want to pour a little bit of it in your baking pan. Just enough to cover the bottom. You want to make sure you spread it out so it covers the bottom so the chicken is not sitting directly on the pan itself. And then you're going to take your chicken, however much you want to make, however much you want to put in your pan, um, it's all up to you. All right, so I got all the chicken in there right now. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add your mushrooms, which I've already cut up and washed. Put all those, just spread them out on top of the chicken. And then you're going to slice your onions and spread your onions out all in throughout the pan as well. So I added all the onions in there. So now what I'm going to do is I've already peeled my carrots. I'm going to chop my carrots up and put those in there as well. So I shall return. Okay guys, the next part is to prepare your cat for baking. You put the cat in the pot or get, in the... Get, get the cat out of here! It's gonna get cat hair in my food! The cat is part of the food, Mom. Put her in the bake pan. Make sure you smother her in butter because you don't want her to get dry. You want to keep her nice and juicy. You might need to tie her down because she won't like it, but... She'll deal with it. And then she'll taste nice and yummy. Nom, 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 Megan would actually freak if I did anything like that. Okay, so the next part is to add your red skin potatoes. And I'm not going to peel them up because the skin is very nutritious. Yes, I have a child. Okay, so again, Use your judgment on how many potatoes you want to use. I'm going to rinse these off and slice them up, and then I'll see if I have enough. In okay, so you want to slice your red potatoes very thin so that they cook faster. The thicker they are, the longer it's going to take for them to cook. And I'm just laying them over top of everything that's in the frying pan, or the baking pan. So once you have all your potatoes and everything cut up, 
you are ready to just add your dressing and your seasonings. So, just going to sprinkle a little bit of real sea salt on there. A little bit of garlic powder. And then I add my Italian dressing. Make sure you shake it up really good. And I usually use a whole bottle. And you just want to spread that, pour it in, try and get it, you know, a little bit everywhere. And then once that's all in, just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top. Okay, so once you have that all done, you're going to cover it with aluminum foil and you're going to bake it in the oven on 350, I would say at least an hour because you want the carrots and the potatoes to be cooked really good. The chicken cooks up pretty quick this way. So I'm going to say at least one hour. So here is what we have. It's got the chicken in the bottom, mushrooms, onions, carrots, and red pepper with some Italian dressing, real sea salt, garlic, and parsley. And now I'm going to cover it up with some aluminum foil. I've already preheated the oven, so it should be good to go. Hello everybody. So dinner has been in the oven for about an hour now. I'm going to take it out and see what it looks like. It smells yummy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? So we're going to dish this out and we're going to give it a taste. And we'll let you know. Okay, so here is the taste test for my chicken with Italian dressing. What'd you taste? Just the chicken so far? Chicken, mushrooms, onions. Taste a potato and a carrot. Come on, you gotta it taste like it carrots. all. Good. Is it cooked enough? Yeah. Okay. Thumbs. Let's see them. One or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Let's see what I can come up with here. Mm. I think this dish is a success. Very healthy and good for you, good for my diabetes, and this wraps up another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors, and we will see you.